subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Well, here is Tropical Storm Nayato in the Western Pacific, making it to march to the northwest as a rather large storm at 13.8 degrees north, 136.4 degrees east. You can see it here as it does make its march again as a rather large storm through the Western Pacific, and we're about to go over the stats right now. It has winds of 70 miles per hour, or 115 kilometers per hour, with a pressure of 984 millibars, or 29.05 inches. It's currently moving northwest at 9 miles per hour, or 14 kilometers per hour, and has no CDPS rating as a result of it not being expected to impact land. Well, you can see the storm here again at 70 miles per hour as a tropical storm. It has a rather large wind field here with 125 nautical miles being the largest quadrant in terms of how far out the tropical storm force winds extend. That happens to be on the northeastern side of the storm. It's currently 847 miles from Davao. From Cebu City, it's 852 miles. From Ogasawara, it's 975 miles. From Quezon City, it's 995 miles. And from Taipei, Taiwan, this is 1,187 miles away. Rather impressive uh, how far it is from land at the moment, and again, a rather impressive looking storm in general with its sheer size and an intensity of 70 miles per hour to boot, nearly a typhoon at this point. We're going to be getting into the intensity estimates shortly so you can see what exactly it is I'm talking about. Well, you can see here the intensity estimates, ATCF, also uh, in line with the Joint Typhoon Warning Center at 70 miles per hour, CIMSS ADT also in agreement with that, with NOAA's ADT at 75 miles per hour, and the Satellite Analysis Branch in a machine learning version of ADT, both at 65 miles per hour. Getting into the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's cone, you can see them expecting this storm to peak with winds of 115 miles per hour before it does weaken rather quickly throughout the day four through five period. It is expected to impact Iwutu though, uh, possibly as a typhoon still, a minimal typhoon at that, but still a typhoon. So anyone in Iwutu needs to be watching this closely. If you're not on that island, then you really have nothing to worry about at this point. The Philippines this isn't gonna be headed towards you. That track problem has been resolved and no other areas in the Western Pacific really need to watch this. Well, here you can see the storm rather clearly in a very warm pocket of sea surface temperatures above 28 degrees Celsius, 28 to 29 at the moment, and it's going to be moving north into slightly cooler waters with time. That's not going to be a problem for it anytime soon, though. The storm in a very favorable environment in terms of the amount of energy it has access to. The waters are also very deep in the Western Pacific, so there are no worries there. Here's the H Wharf wind swath for this storm, and it has this all the way up to a Category 4 storm during certain points of its life. You can see there the rainfall as well with up to 8 inches possibly falling over Iwato at this time. Well, here's the intensity guidance, CTCX and h -Worth being rather aggressive with Category 4 peaks. The rest of the models in a general consensus of Category 1 to 2, so we'll see what exactly ends up happening there. You can see the reasoning for why it's going to weaken so quickly. It has about a day left before it's going to begin to rapidly weaken due to skyrocketing wind shear. Sea surface temperatures will also be falling off, but won't become unfavorable until the 3rd, and humidity will be becoming rather unfavorable on the 2nd, as well as wind shear. The track consensus, very strong at this point. There's really no deviation in track anymore, so the track dilemma we were talking about in the previous update is no longer something to worry about. Well, you can see the sun rising over Nyoto at this time. You can see rather clearly that it is a beast of a storm. It's very large as well. Minus 90 degrees Celsius hot towers firing within it, showing an indicator that this is a powerful and well-organized tropical cyclone. Still a tropical storm about to become a typhoon. Water vapor shows it being rather robust as well, a rather robust structure. Not gonna be letting dry air get into it anytime soon. And with that being said, we can see our final satellite view for this update. Thank you so much for watching.